Well, do you think the glass is clean? It should be. It's all an illusion. But you know, that is what the cockpit is all about. So, I've done and dusted. The windows are clean. We are here at Trondheim at stand 43. And we are getting ready to take a flight to Tromsø in the northern part of Norway. So if you're ready to join me, then let's climb in the cockpit and occupy these very posh seats in the cabin. Let's have a look at windy.com and we go to ENVA, which is Trondheim. The wind is coming in from 270 degrees at 10 knots and according to this information on the left here it says VFR conditions are in existence at Trondheim. Let's have a look at the runway. There it is. So Looking at the wind direction, I think it's a pretty safe bet that we would be taking off from runway 27. Now, going to our destination, here we are at ENTC or Tron, uh, Tromso. Now, here the weather conditions are quite different. According to this, the wind is coming from 10 degrees at 9 knots. The visibility is, is 10 kilometers or more. However, it's showing minimum VFR, which means it could go to IFR at any time. So the winds are coming down quite strongly there. Having a look at the runways. Yep then the best guess would be that we would be coming in on runway 36 in all likelihood and it will be a crosswind landing. So that's what we have to look forward to going into Tromso. So next thing we need to do is we need to make our flight plan. So here we are, this is a blank flight plan with SIM brief. So our airline is Ryanair, our flight number is 186. We are departing from ENVA and we are going to ENTC. And there's the alternate that it's given us and we'll have a look here and we'll put in our aircraft type which is Ryanair. Now there are flights between Trondheim and Tromso but most of them seem to stop at Bodo. We will not be stopping at Bodo, we'll be carrying straight on so it'll be interesting to see what the flight plan will be. But down here, passengers, we are full. Cargo, we are one ton. Half a ton up front, half a ton behind. And here we are. This is the, right here, 
there's the flight plan it's giving us. Let's have a quick look and see what's in there. Ah, Euro control. Now these are routes that have already been filed. So we are picking a flight plan that has been used. It's giving us a route distance of 434 nautical miles. And it's suggesting here departure runway is 27 and arrival runway 36. Well, we already saw that, didn't we? So it looks like that weather forecast is pretty accurate. And here is our route. We're going to go straight up the coastline of Norway. And it should be pretty interesting. And here you can see where ESNX is located in Sweden. Uh, that would be our alternate should there be a massive problem. All right. Now we'll go up here and what we need to do next is we need to save the flight and then we need to generate the flight briefing. This will give us importable files to bring in. And here's the essential part right there. Oh, good. We'll be flying at flight level 350. Airtime is 1 hour 19. There's the block fuel. And right there is the entire routing. Okay, now all we need to do is import that into the two computers that we have. Startup. Active Sky and then take our flight. So if you're ready, let's get into the cockpit and set this all up. Here we are, we're at stand 43 in Trondheim and already all these kamikaze vehicles are lining up with malicious intent. Oh well, what can you do? Right, we'll get ready then, put on the battery, turn on the fuel, and we'll get the APU started. I'm looking around, there's quite a bit of weather that we're going to have to go through. Looks like some rain and the temperature is quite low. So we may have icing conditions and even be flying in and out of snow. It's going to be interesting no, no matter which way we go. This is a very highly detailed airport scenery. It's put out by Aerosoft, by the way, and I think it was worth every penny. It really is a lovely, lovely scenery here. Even if the vehicles are all kamikaze. There we go. Now, turn on the IRS to get our GPS set up. Galley on, emergency exit lights, no smoking, fasten seat belt. The left and the right probes, and there's the electrical pumps. Then over here, we'll turn on the APU bleed and listen for the rush of the compressed air. There we go. Now we have heat going through the cabin to keep our passengers nice and warm. 
All right. We're flying at 35,000 feet today, so I'm going to put in 35,000 in there. And our elevation at Tromso is 37, so we'll put 50 for the landing altitude over here. All right, first thing we'll do is we'll clear the bottom, push this. We are at EMBA. We are at number 43. And what we'll do is we'll check this. 43 should be 63.27.2 by 10.55.3 and that is it, that's correct. So we will put that into there. Our route, well our origin is ENBA, so we'll put that ENBA. Our destination is ENTC. Our flight number is Ryanair 186, so that's RYR 186. Go to the next page, and this is where we start to put in the routing. So we go direct to Nijex first. So N I G E X. And then we take the Zulu 103. To go to BNN. And then we go on the Zulu 200. And to get to the STM waypoint. And then we take the Zulu 201 to go to Penno. And then we go direct to Atweb. And then we activate. Good. Go to our departure. And we're departing on runway 27. But let's listen in, first of all, to the ATIS. So tune in, ATIS. Clear. Airport information. November 1254 so, we're going to be departing on runway 27. And we'll be taking the Nijex 1 Whiskey. So, Nijex 1 Whiskey. Execute that. Go to our arrival. We'll be coming in on ILS 36 on the at wheel one left. Good. Now what we'll do is we will click over and go to the legs and just check and make sure that all of our legs are good, all the waypoints are in there and the roots. There it is all the way. Good. 
now we need to put in the fix and the, we're going to go to ENTC and we will need a 4 mile radius 10 mile and a 30 mile radius line go to the descent and we'll put in these three elevations and it is 1010 Q&H at our destination the descent figures are 347 at 65 And at 150, it is 34153. And at 100, it is 32627. And we'll put that in. Good. Now let's make sure that we have enough fuel here. We need, according to the flight plan, we need block fuel of 7439. Okay. Now, looking at our information here, the reserves are 3144 plus the trip and taxi, which is 3651. That comes to 6795 or 6.8 and 3.1 for. Reserves, cost index is 6, we're flying at 350, and our average wind is 335 at 45. The transition altitude here is 7,000 feet. And got that, six degrees outside. Take off, we're going to be going on flat 10. So, that's the basic information that we need. Now, we'll need to enter that into the MCP. So first of all, we have our runway heading is going to be 266. So we'll put in a heading of 266. We'll leave the altitude for a moment until we get our IFR clearance and we are 147 for that. So let's see if that's going to work. So that on, that on. We have two green lights. Now the decision height at Tromso is 385 so I'm going to put 385 into this
Everything is looking good across the board. Put on the your damper, the light has come off. Right, now we are set to do a pushback and everything else. Now our passengers have been busy climbing on board so we can now bring up the stairs and look for the equipment light to go off and we'll close the door. Right, stairs are up, door is closed. Navigation lights are now active. Right, let's request our IFR clearance. Bayers, ground, Ryanair 186, ready to copy IFR clearance to Lagnes. Ryanair 186 is cleared to Lagnes Airport as 5, fly runway heading, climb and maintain, 14,000, departure frequency of 118.6, squat 1301. Ryanair 186, cleared to Lagnes Airport as file, fly runway heading, climb and maintain, 14,000, departure on 118.6, score 1301. Ryanair 186, red back correct, contact ground on 121.6. Right, we're to, to the uh, ground now and request our taxi. Fayers, ground, Ryanair 186, with Romeo, ready to taxi, IFR. Ryanair 186, taxi to and hold short of runway 27, using taxiway Juliet, my 2, my 3, my Yankee, Alpha 8, contact tower on 119.4, when ready. Taxi to and hold short, runway 27, using taxiway Juliet, my 2, my 3, my Yankee, Alpha 8, Ryanair 186. Right, we are ready now to do our pushback and start. We're going to turn our nose to the right so that we can go out in that direction. Yep, you can see them, they're loitering, they're loitering, those kamikaze vehicles, they're loitering. Oh well, no worry about them. Right, we are now going to have to do the pushback, so we will start that. Go ahead. We've been cleared for pushback and start. They want the tail to our left. Roger that. Ready for pushback. Tail to the left. Release parking brake, please. Parking brake is off. And we'll be starting Ready engine service. number two. Here we go. All right. Turning engine number two. Air conditioning is off. We're looking now for 24 on this. The start valve has opened. The engines are cranking up. There's an SAS flight out there. And now we'll introduce the fuel to engine number two. Should be able to hear the engine start in just a moment. There they go. brake is on. Starting engine number one. Brake set. We're looking again for twenty four. Watch for the slip release pads on your right and right flight. Thank you, Roger. There's twenty four. Introduce now the fuel.
engines, good start. Now we're going to switch to the generators on the engines for our power. And then we will turn on the air conditioning, turn off the APU bleed and finally turn off the APU. Turn on the three runway lights. Do a last check here. Probe heat and briefing at collision light is on check. Flight deck door is closed, secure. Recall check. Flight controls checked. Flaps. Green light check. Stabilizer trim check. Auto brake is off. RTO good check. Speed brake lever down detent. Ground equipment is clear. We are now ready to taxi to runway 27. All right, everything is checked. TCAS correct. Break off. Have a good look around. Apply a little power to get ourselves unstuck here. And we'll make our way to the taxi line here. some weather activity on our weather radar so far no red but we do have some green and yellow cells so it'll be a little bumpy until we get to our assigned altitude takeoff clearance in just a moment. Runway 
straight two. 30, 34, 32, 39. Oh, pretty good. All right. We are cleared to go out, so we'll go and use all the runway that we can. I'm going to swing around here. Everything does look clear. And we'll line ourselves up on the runway center. All right, we'll break there for a moment. Right, last minute check. Engine bleeds are on, check, packs, auto, check, landing gear, oh, the bleeds, engine sw switches, continuous, cabin is secure, and start the clock, all lights are on, attendance secure for takeoff, advance the power to N1, Push the toga button. Full power. Rotate. 
to land at Tromso. We are just passing through 12,800 feet. I have the seat belt fastened sign on. We are currently 240 nautical miles an hour.
temperature outside is now minus 9 degrees. But we're coming up on the localizer.
side of the runway yet? 2500. 2500, check. Glide slope has been acquired. Turn left here to go down to the terminal. Runway is, taxiway is clear. Definitely some snow here. Cleanup is complete. to number 24. Here we are.
kamikaze vehicles are out in force here. <laughs> and stop. Brake is on. Engine shut down. Lights off. Seatbelt signs are off. And forward service hatch is open and the equipment is extending. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tromso where the weather is snowy. And it is blowing hard as well. Look at these things. Look at them. Ha. Go find someone else to use for target practice. Well, there you are. We're here, we've landed, we did it nice and safely. It was an IFR flight. You can see how bad the visibility was. We got right down to minimums before we were able to see the high intensity landing lights. And at that particular point, we would have either, if we couldn't have seen them, we would have executed a missed approach, but instead we landed. So, Kayami Kayamatis, I think that's how you pronounce it. If not, I apologize. Thank you. Thank you for suggesting this flight. You said to just do a flight in Norway, which of course it is, but I happen to like Tromso a lot. So coming to Tromso was very important for me. During the winter, when of course it's nighttime <laughs> all day long here, and that when the solar activity is such, the northern lights here are magnificent. So, I hope you enjoyed the flight, and we will see you on the next one. Right, let's do the final shutdown. Engines are off. Okay. And... IRS off, your damper off, and galley is off, and shutdown is complete. Welcome to Tromso.